My university has a slogan, cause and effect. After two years of studying, I learned about the 17 principles of instruction and Richard Clark's five common but questionable principles of learning that some people have been um, carrying around inside of us. And we base a lot of our instruction and lesson planning on principles that may not have evidence to support them. I've learned from Litke, Gonzalez, and Levine that we need to personalize the, the work. We also have to have something we call the global skills, Tony Wagner. Millions of students prepare for tests, but do they have those skills of collaboration and becoming, well, what we call the CIA? CIA. Creativity, courtesy. You can see the CR and CT. We also have critical thinking. Curiosity, collaboration, communication, problem solving. The A's are access and analyzing information, agility, adaptability, and then the I's are initiative and entrepreneuring and integrity. So I call this the CIA, the 10 skills. That's what we should be really pushing onto students rather than calculus. <laughs> Jody Woodruff has the Center for Entrepreneuring over at uh, Providence, Rhode Island. And she's always asking, what do students need to know to help a company grow? One of the things is the attitudes that a business owner would have. Even if you're an employee, you can have a business person's attitude. The idea that uh, this is my company. What would I do if this were my company? So the question comes, how can high school teachers prepare students for life? And then how do we move whatever information we think of into long-term memory? And this is where, this is time here, and this is how much we remember. So you might remember 100% of uh, 10 terms, but over time, we're going to forget them. This is the curve of forgetting. But by periodically intervening, we can stop this decline and place information in long-term memory. In my... Two years at graduate school, I've learned about a wonderful slogan. It's called, We Carry Intuitively Appealing Beliefs. And one of the things we need to do is find out, are these beliefs based on evidence? Now, Dr. Fischler's system uh, he wants to build better schools, partly through training. And he wants to bring those kind of skills of better schools to uh, students. And we do that by doing things like the uh, flipped classroom. Normally in class you do lecture and then you practice what was lectured, then you give the student homework. Um, what if instead we give a lecture at home? In other words, it's being delivered by video. And then when you arrive at school, you practice and then do your homework. So these are issues that I hope that you will find interesting. You'll call me at 954-646-8246. It actually spells O oh, Mucho. Hope that assists you. Look forward to talking to you, especially about our dynamic extended teaching training. This is a follow-up, the 271430 follow-up. All this comes from transform teaching. And part of it is based on teaching people through um, lots of quotes, quotations that will help people transform the way they teach and hopefully transform the way they are learning. So, Thank you for your time. Please go to transformteaching.org.